Hi, good morning everybody. This is lecture for this is week four, lecture one, uh, and we are still in topic three. Okay, remember starting from topic three, uh, you are learning about accounting process. You are learning about how to do accounting record. So when you want to do accounting record, like I have said uh, last week in the last in the previous lecture, uh, you if you want to do or to make accounting record for a business, you have to follow accounting cycle. Accounting cycle explains about the steps that you have to do when you want to make accounting record for a business. So there are eight steps in the accounting cycle. You have seen that in the previous lecture. So step one is analysis. You have to do analysis. Uh, I have explained about that last week. Uh, the second step is to record the business transactions in in the journal. And in this course, you you have to learn about how to record all business transactions in general journal. So I have explained about general journal last week. That is the second step in the accounting cycle. The third step in the accounting cycle is to transfer all journal entries into ledger. Okay, so journal. So I, I, just, uh, I, uh, I just want to show you the journal. Okay, this is the journal entries. So when you want to do or to make a country record for a business, first step is you have to analyze uh, every transaction that happened. And then after you analyze the transaction, you have to record the transaction in the journal. So this is general journal. Okay, this is the way you record business transaction in the general journal. So you have to write the date, the debit account, the credit account, and the amount and the explanation. So, uh, so you have to do the, to do this every time a business transaction happen so at the end of an accounting period uh, let's say at the end of the year you have to stop you have to stop recording so let's say you have a business uh, your business uh, started its operation at 1st of january so every day you have to record the business trans transaction uh, every time a business transaction happen you analyze and then you record in the general in the journal uh, at the end of the year uh, when you, uh, at 31st of december of the year you have to close the account you, you have to stop you, you stop recording the transaction in the journal and then you do step three in the accounting transaction in the accounting cycle which is to to transfer all the journal entries into the ledger ledger is another book that we use in accounting okay the process of transferring all journal entries into the ledger is called posting. See the, per, the first point in this slide, posting. Posting is the process of transferring all the journal entries into the ledger. So journal is the first book in accounting. Uh, then ledger is the second book in in accounting okay ledger what is a ledger a ledger is a book in the ledger there are many accounts okay you will see what are the accounts that we have in in the ledger after this posting reference posting reference is the part uh, the third point in this slide it is a cross-reference number between the general journal and the accounts in the general ledger. Uh, okay, the point number four here in this slide is chart of accounts. 
chart of accounts is a systematic listing of all accounts used by a company chart of accounts is like uh, the earlier pages in the ledger it is like a book content uh, in the chart of account there are list of accounts uh, kept in the ledger and and also you can see in which page the a particular account is sit, is is written or is uh, is recorded let's say you have a business and then you have a uh, account cash so in the chart of account you will write account cash and then you have to show in which page of the ledger uh, account cash is located or is written see here chart of account this is like uh, an example of charts of account uh, chart of accounts shows a list of all accounts uh, that a business has in its ledger so you can see there is a code there uh, 101 for cash 105 for account receivable 107 is inventory so you can find uh, so it is like a page number uh, page 101 is where cash account is located okay page or code 105 is where the account receivable is uh, recorded okay this is a, an account see remember uh, ledger is the book in the book there are many accounts uh, account cash account receivable account supplies account uh, equipments account payable account bank loan account capital etc all the accounts that a business has so in the ledger there are many accounts so the accounts most of the time is called t account uh, why it is called t account because the you, if you look at the the account it is like a, a capital uh, t okay in the left side of the account it is a debit side or the left side is called debit side uh, in the right side of the account it is called credit side see the the yellow box there and accounts balance is usually on the side that increases the accounts okay that is that, uh, it, that is about the accounts okay after you have posted sorry after you have transferred all journal entries into the ledger you have to close every account uh, closing every accounts uh, means you have to calculate the balance of every account for example account cash so if there is a uh, if there is a, an account cash for in the ledger of a business then you have to transfer all journal entries related to cash in that account and then after you have transferred all the journal entries in that account you have to close the account you and then you calculate uh, what is the balance for cash account so you have to do that for every account account cash account receivable account supplies account uh, building land what else every account so that is the end of step three Step 4 in the accounting cycle is preparing a trial balance. Okay, let's see. A trial balance is a list of all accounts with their balances. It is a list of all accounts, account cash, account receivable, etc. Account bank loan, account capital, account drawings. So you have to list them in the trial balance. And then also you have to show the balance the balance for every account i hope you can see an example for that okay this is uh, the format of a uh, trial balance so see here there are three columns first you have to write the name of the business 
and then you have to show the accounting period related to the trial balance in this example the account balance is related to december 31st 2009 uh, okay or this year is 2021 so you can change uh, if you prepare a trial balance for this year then the trial balance is related to the period of december 31st 2021 uh, the most important thing is this trial balance has three columns the first column is where you have to list all the accounts. See here, for this simple business, there are, there are cash account, account receivable, account inventory, plan, account table, capital, uh, return earnings, sales revenue, cost of goods sold, advertising expense, miscellaneous expenses. After that, you have to show the balance for every account. In this example, cash account has a debit balance of 21. Uh, account receivable has the balance of 15. Inventory 12. Land 200. Okay, so there are debit balances and also credit balances. Uh, I will uh, show you an example. Uh, show uh, explaining about how to prepare a trial balance uh, don't worry at this stage you have to see the format first and you have to understand the flow first later you will uh, i will show you a sample question and then you will see how to prepare this or, or how to do the step one two three and four okay in the trial balance you have calculate the total uh, amount in the debit side and also the total amount in the credit side if you see the amount the total amount in the debit side equal to the uh, total amount in the debit side, credit side then most of the time it shows that the recording that have been done the accounting record that had the that have been done uh, are correct See in this example, the the total in the debit side is 1,123. The total in the credit side also 1,123. So most of the time, if the total in the debit side equal to the total in the credit side, the recording, the accounting record process that have been done uh, is correct. It's okay. But let's say one day you do the accounting uh, record and then when you prepare a, tri a trial balance the total amount in the deb debit side does not equal to the total amount in the credit side then you have to know that there are something wrong in the recording process so you have uh, to to look at look back at the journal and ledger and you have to identify uh, the errors that that had happened and then you have to do correction and then you have to prepare a trial balance again make sure the numbers in the debit side equal to the uh, the total in the debit side equal to the total in the credit side okay so uh, just to refresh your memory the uh, the the first step in the accounting cycle is uh, to do the analysis so let's say you uh, you have a business and then you want to make a country record for your business so you know that the first step uh, when you want to do or to make a country record for your business you have to follow a counting cycle so the first step in the counting cycle is analysis when a transaction ha happen you analyze uh, the analysis happen in your head and then after you analyze the transaction you do the second step you record the transaction in the journal in this course you learn about uh, how to record the transaction in the general journal only very simple very easy and then every time a transaction happen you have to do the same thing analyze record in the journal analyze record in the journal at the end of the year uh, you have to close your account uh, in accounting you we have a periodic uh, principle time period principle so at the end of the year you close your account then 
when you arrive at the end of the year uh, 31st of December of the year so you you stop recording uh, most businesses they close their shop for one day they stop recording and then what they do is they do uh, the third step in the accounting cycle you stop recording and then you do the third step in the accounting cycle which is uh, to prepare the ledger uh, to prepare the ledger the way is you transfer all the journal entries into into a new book uh, a new book which is the ledger in the ledger there are many accounts uh, most of the time we use three t accounts so you transfer journal entries from journal book to the ledger book you have to, to transfer every entries every entry and then after you have transferred all the journal entries in the ledger you have to close every account and then you calculate balances for every account after you have calculate, calculated the balances for every account you do the step 4 in the accounting cycle which is to prepare a trial balance this is the trial balance in this in this slide you see you have to list all the accounts with their balances some accounts have uh, debit balances uh, this account uh, asset accounts and uh, expenses account and withdrawal account some accounts they have uh, credit balances these accounts are uh, liabilities accounts capital account and revenue account so when you prepare trial balance uh, make sure the total amount in the debit side equal to the total amount in the credit side like this sample trial balance if the total amount in the debit side equal to the total amount in the credit side most of the time it shows that the recording process that you have done in step 1, 2 and 3 are correct but if you prepare trial balance and then you see the total amount in the debit side does not equal to the total, um, total amount in the credit side then you know something uh, uh, something wrongs uh, in the previous steps so you have to identify the errors or mistakes and then you have to prepare the trial balance again okay okay then, and then i have a sample question here you see there is a business and then there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 uh, sample business transaction. And for example, 1st of January. Okay, this is like your business. I try to make it like your business. So imagine that you have a business. So 1st of January, you start a car wash business. You invested $5,000 cash and $3,500 in equipment into the business. So... Uh, there are 10 transactions and then and then uh, you are required to do step 1, step 2, step 3 and step 4 in the accounting cycle so when you do this you, you will know oh this is the way to do step 1 and then this is the way to do step two the a question is step one uh, b question is step two c question is step three in the accounting cycle this uh, question is uh, step four in the country cycle so when you see this question uh, and and when you see the the way to answer this question you will know oh this is step one in the country cycle step two step three and step four <coughs> i hope you will know how to do it uh, actually, I have prepared a series of, I think, at least four videos for the sample question. So, you will see. Uh, you have to see step one, step two, step three, and step four. And I hope you can uh, you understand how to do this first four steps in the accounting cycle. Okay, this is uh, the additional things. Uh, that you have to know before we uh, we stop the lecture before we uh, we end the 
lecture for topic three. Okay, let's see. Uh, describe how technology has affected the first three steps of the accounting cycle. So, like, uh, you have to know this. You have now. You have to know this. Uh, you have seen step one, two, three, and four uh, in the accounting cycle. So. You have to know that this step 1, 2, 3, and 4 can be done manually uh, using pen and paper. And also, now it can be done using computer software. Okay, if it has to be done manually, then you have to do the things that I have explained in the previous slide. Okay, if you, you do this first four step in the accounting cycle using uh, computer software then it is like uh, you use the computer very easy you just enter the uh, you have to uh, use the software you have to uh, log in into the software and then you have to find the uh, you have to create the chart of account and then every uh, every time a transaction happen, you just pick or choose an account and then you have to record uh, the amount related to the account. Uh, maybe account cash. Uh, let's say today is uh, 7 of November. So let's say today you receive cash from customer $200. So you debit account cash. You find account cash in the software. You record debit 200 so if you use software everything can be done automatically the software will update the cash account and everything and the, see the software will update the journal the ledger and then at the end of the accounting period the software also can generate uh, generate trial balance for you okay so see there are several advantages of using computer or software to do accounting record first uh, if you use computer software to do accounting record uh, large amount of information can be quickly processed without mathematical errors Imagine if you do the, account, uh, the software or computer to the account record, you can enter just the number. The computer always record everything according to the the thing that you have uh, written or typed in the software. No errors. Okay, most of the time, uh, of the time no errors. And then more documents can be produced than humanly possible in the same amount of time. So if you record or if you do a country record using computer software you can print many things you can print uh, you can print the ledger the journal receipts everything very quickly and easily number three the advantage of using computer software to do a country record is common tasks can be automated for increased uh, can be automated for increased efficiency okay but there are several disadvantages of using computers first computer hardware and software require human judgment and input uh, even though computer uh, software can can help uh, in doing accounting record quickly but it still needs your judgment and input you have to to put the numbers there to type the numbers otherwise it doesn't work okay the second point or the second disadvantage of using computer software uh, to do a country record is gigo garbage in garbage out it means that if you put wrong numbers or you, you you do errors in the recording the output of the software also uh, errors uh, if you put wrong number in the 
recording of cash for any account and then at the end of the year your trade balance uh, wrong your income statement and balance sheet uh, and balance sheet also wrong contain contain errors so that is what we call as garbage in garbage out so you have you have to be very very careful you have to put the only correct things in the software okay the third disadvantage of using computer software in doing or making an accounting record for a business is once an error is identified fixing the problem may require many adjustments okay so if you use a software then let's say error happen uh, first very difficult to check okay very difficult to check maybe a bit difficult to check because if you use a uh, manual way of uh, accounting record you can check the journal first if any any error error happen you can check the journal you open the book the journal book and then uh, if you see no errors there you can open the second book which is the ledger uh, that is the way but if you use computers imagine very difficult for you to identify and fix problem because everything is recorded uh, digitally so that is the third disadvantage of using computers or software in doing or making accounting record for a business thank you very much that is the end of this lecture i will share with you uh, the the uh, i will share with you i think four uh, videos that i made related to the sample question remember i have uh, you have seen a sample question in this uh, in this lecture uh, the, uh, in that sample question you see there are 10 business transactions and then the question asks you to do the analysis the journal the ledger and then a trial balance so i have four uh, four videos for that uh, one video for every uh, for every step of the accounting cycle i will share with you the video uh, the videos so uh, i hope you will watch that video uh, you have to watch that videos and then you will understand how to do the first four steps in the accounting cycle thank you very much um, do not forget to write your name and metric number in the comment section. I will record that as your lecture attendance for today.